Hey everyone, it's Tom here today. Today I'm going to be showing you something called Wireshark. Now what Wireshark is, it's a great tool for IT administrators to see what's going on over the network. So we're basically talking about a little tool that shows you whether it's a, I don't know, a UDP port that's connecting or a, uh, you know, TCP port. So, and it also shows you the IP addresses. So with this tool, which is open source and free, you, you can actually see what's going on. Like, like, you know, you can see everything you want to see, depending on how much you know about networking and such. So you click, uh, you go to Wireshark.org, I'll put it in the description, you click download Wireshark and you go for the, the uh, stable release and then you go for the system that you need. I got the 32-bit because I'm on a Windows 32-bit version. This works with all versions of Windows and it's, it's open source and it's I think it's a pretty premium quality application for what it does, you know, it, it, it's great. So I've already got it installed, but I thought that it would be best to take you through the installation. It's 18 point... Uh, I'm not going to show you through the installation. In, through the installation. Hang on. Nah, see, so I'm gonna have to reboot the computer. So, if you install it, the only thing you need to know really is you need to keep everything default. And when it asks you to install WinPC Cap, which is a driver for capturing data packets that are being sent and so forth, you need to say yes because that otherwise it's not gonna work. So, I'm gonna open up Wireshark. And it gives you a nice little splash screen. And, you know, there's loads of things that you can do on here. But, but mainly, I go for, the thing I go for is this. Start capture on interface. So if you click interface list, you get all these different things that you can monitor. Now my network driver is Realtek, the uh, family thing. But, uh, the, the packets are being sent through something called Microsoft. So I hit I hit start on that, and then there we go. So th these are all the connections that my computer is making and receiving, or all the data packets that are being sent and received. And it actually show you know it does show you the actual IP addresses that the. Uh, you know, they're being sent to. So let me see, if I was to just put that to the side there, go into command, and if I just ping Google a second, I say ping www.google.co.uk, it'll come up right there. See, 209.85, 209.85. So, you know, literally, it's, uh, you know, Wireshark has just logged that activity, is what I'm saying. So, I'm trying to, f I'm trying to find it, actually. Yeah, there it is, right there. The, uh, the protocol is ICMP. Length is 74. Uh, it's an echo ping request, which is what we did. And... Yeah, uh, the source is our IP address and the, and the time and so forth. So it just you know it literally just shows you what happened. And if I was to go ahead and op open up my internet browser, you can see that it just registered TCP and HTTP, which means that. You know, it's basically a page that we're looking at when it when the computer is making a connection to the internet. And if I go to 99.com, we get another load of 
HTTP and TCP. And obviously, if uh, you've got viruses and stuff, you can see that there'll be like random IP addresses being pinged and all this stuff. And you know, you can see that the local machine is sending out far too much parts of data. But the main thing is, is that you know, it's it's great that you don't have to pay for this. You know, it's it's absolutely free, absolutely open source. You can go ahead and set a filter. I've on HTTP. So the only thing, the, the only activity I'll get now is something that is communicating over HTTP practically. But, you know, I bet I bet the IT administrator administrators at my own school probably use this. You know, and it does the job. It's perfect. And you know, th there's loads of things that I could bang on about here. Uh, you know, I, I could, uh, you know, you, you can go to the next packet, the first packet, the last packet. Um, you can find the packet. You can you can export the packet, the, uh, the packet capture, and you can import one. And you can just look at, you know, it's just logging activity basically. That's all it's doing. You know, it's just logging data. You know, if you wanted to, you could monitor your own computer. And look at that. Um, that that's that's MSN. What I'm using right now, with my uh, MSN Messenger. So you could even maybe like install this on a network, so you can see what people are doing, what people you know on your network are doing. Like if you're an IT administrator. And um, if you go to edit and preferences, there's not that much in there when it comes to the interface. You know, it's just pretty general stuff here. Uh, layout, columns, font, colors, capture, printing, name resolution, statistics. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit uh, weird, by the way. Sometimes I get a bit tongue-tied with making these videos. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I've been so busy with loads of stuff, so... But I'm still here, and I'm still going to be making videos. Uh, uh, you can show some help. We have a, pre we have a pretty uh, extensive help guide on it. You can, you know, apply filters. You can stop the capture, the capture, restart it. Telephony. We've got all these things here. You can check out VoIP calls. So if if there's a uh, a voice over internet protocol call that was going on, you could, uh, you know, you could you you could see what's going on. You could say you can see who it's from, who it's to. You know, completed calls, rejected calls, the number of calls. You know, there's just so much you can find out about what's going on with your with your network. You know, so easily and for free. Uh, let's see, tools, Lua, console. Evaluate. I don't really know what's going on. Some of these things, I don't really know what I'm doing with them, I'm just checking it out. You've got a little manual thing here, so it's taking you to the manual now. And we've got Wiki, Wikipedia. There doesn't seem to be an update thing for it in here. You have to, you have to just go to the website and check it out. Um, but really, you know, this is just a basic video, you know, just, you know, letting you know, you know, giving you, a, uh, you know, the basic function of it. And I hope it's helped you out there. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, by the way, when you, it'll ask you if you want to save the capture file, you can click save and, and uh, you can, you know, go ahead and, and save it.
from and so uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that for you guys you can go ahead and save it and that Wireshark won't just stop working like that. Oh god. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys soon and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Good night.